Hey guys, this is Jeff at Tenacore. We're gonna talk slings today, specifically the Viking Tactics two-point adjustable sling and the Edgar Sherman design sling. The Viking Tactics sling has been my staple sling for a couple decades now. The version we're gonna talk about today is the two-point adjustable, their PES ultralight version, and that's gonna be in comparison to the Edgar Sherman design sling. My preference is for a rear of the receiver and front of the receiver attach point, or really rear of the rail. My preference for that is because of how close you can get the rifle to your body. The rifle also sits higher, the buttstock relative to your shoulder. It also allows free movement of the buttstock down into your armpit or now down near your waist for a high ready, high port position. So there's lots of different atta attachment methods out there. My preferred method is a quick adjust sling swivel. The sling swivel though has to make sure that the push button is recessed. If your push button is not recessed while you're using it, your gear or other things will hit the push button and the sling will come off. And I've seen that happen on many times to colleagues at work where they're running the sling, um, they're on the range and all of a sudden their rifle falls off. Both of these slings are one inch, not one and a half. So my preference is to go with the one inch D-ring. The ones from Bravo Company work really well. So on the Viking Tactics sling, it ships with two tri-guide buckles typically. And one of the reasons why I don't like that, when you thread this through with both tri-guide -like buckles, you can't get very tight with your metal camming buckle to the gun. So my preference is to ditch one. I'm gonna double back, kind of like a climbing harness. I'm able to get the adjustment buckle pretty close to the gun to get a pretty tight fit. Basically, I have this whole front section, which is this camming cinching adjustment section. Um, on this, the way it works after you fit the sling, you need to cut any excess off of the front sling swivel, and then you can use your two tri-glides or double it back like I did. One of the advantages of the Edgar Sherman design, you can see here they have a, the tail end of the webbing um, is sewn. Because it's sewn there and folded over, it's not gonna pull back through the buckle, so you don't have to double back the webbing. And so I like that, and when you adjust this, buckle, you're able to get this whole thing pretty tight to the gun, which increases the adjustment range. An advantage of the Edgar Sherman sling is that there's no need for cutting off any webbing. In the front half, it's going to run through the front of this tri-glide, and then we have this repurposed um, ladder lock here with the toggle on it, and that is your quick adjust feature. Okay, and so because of that, if you want to lengthen the overall length of the sling, how you do that, you don't have to worry about adjusting it here in the front, um, you just lengthen the rear section. If you want to decrease the overall length, you can shorten the rear section, and while doing that, you maintain the same amount of range of adjustment. The major difference between these slings is going to be how they adjust. This is the Viking Tactics sling. How it adjusts is with this camming buckle, and so if you pull the tail, you end up with a tail that hangs. Um, a lot of people don't like that. Uh, they don't like it because it's a tail that's hanging loose. I have used this, like I said, for a couple decades and it works really well. I know lots of other people use it. It is kind of the standard by which most two-point adjustable slings are measured. And one of the advantages of it is that you get so much range of adjustment. You actually get 50% more range of adjustment than you do in a like sling where the tail is captured on it. With that, I can have this where it is hangs really loose. If I have armor on or something else, there's plenty of room for that. I'm able to drop my stock down below here and work high ready if I have to work over the top of something. And then when I go to pull it tight, if you see where the stock sits relative to my shoulder and how tight everything sits here, it works really well. But you do have this dangling tail. Another feature on this sling is gonna be it's padded. So this is my preferred over the original. I prefer this one because it is lighter weight. The hardware is a little more simple. They're using Hypalon uh, on the ends of the padded section. Um, and then the padded section is comfortable and nice, particularly if you have a heavier gun. In comparison on the Edgar Sherman design sling, the adjustment portion is captured. And so you don't have a tail. If I sling this, and again, I have this position, so it is pretty loose. Um, so there's plenty of adjustment and maneuverability. To adjust it, I have to reach around and grab this little toggle end on the back. And so you can grab this, pull it tight. And it does hold pretty close. 
for a two-point adjustable sling where, without the tail, but as you can see, the stock sits here much lower to my shoulder. There's more range of adjustment on this sling than most other two-point adjustable slings that don't have the tail like the VTAC sling. So the Edgar Sherman sling does not have padding on it, um, and for a lightweight rifle, I find that to be no big deal. Um, particularly if you have armor or something on, that will help to distribute the weight. If you chose to go with a VTAC sling, you would not be making a wrong decision. There's something about the Edgar Sherman sling though that is just simple. It is all contained, it's all together. The fact that I'm not cutting on it and stuff, I can just buy the thing, set it up, and use it the way it was designed, I think is an advantage. So that is a quick rundown on the Viking Tactics two-point adjustable sling and the Edgar Sherman design sling. They're both excellent slings that I think will serve you well if you went with one over the other. Um, in summary, I think the biggest difference for me would be range of adjustment. So if you have a job or a task that requires a larger range of adjustment, which typically means you want the gun to sit really high relative to your body when it's slung tight, um, then for sure the VTAC sling is the answer and always has been the answer. But if you're looking for a very simple, elegant, design sling. The Edgar Sherman design sling I think is a great choice. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful and Mike's going to walk around and do something funny and try to give stuff away. It's better at the lower angle. It makes me bigger, right? There we go. Not too, not too low. I'm not talking to a child here. The winner to the last giveaway is here. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, for this week's giveaway, we want you to answer the question, what is your favorite sling? Cut.